Well, as I promised, I'm going to do a little segment on the uh, Oil City branch. And this is the beginning of the Oil City branch. This is the little location called Oil Junction. That branch there, we're looking south right now. That branch there goes, that track goes off to the uh, old Minkland Southern branch uh, it's called the Lanco branch now it's operated by the San Joaquin Valley Railroad as is the Oil City branch the uh, Lanco used to be operated by the Santa Fe the Oil City was operated jointly by Santa Fe and Southern Pacific and they alternated operation of it every uh, I think it was every two years if I'm not mistaken but anyway this is milepost 308.8 and uh, that is the oil city taken off that way. You can see these storage tracks that uh, used to be super busy back in the old days, storing oil cars, tank cars. They rarely ever use them anymore. Crossing over there is where the oil city crosses Roberts Lane. Goes off into Oildale proper. The uh, trains when they used to come out, we used to live right over here when I was nine. And that little market right there was called the Oil Junction Market. And I used to go stand there behind there and the trains would come out and be waiting to go out on the main line just like they do today. But that time Southern Pacific was operating it. And they had one time I asked them guys waiting out there if uh, I could get up on the engine and look at it. And they let me up there and showed me what things were. And it was really cool. This is the beginning of the Oil City branch. And I will move on through it with some uh, of the... Interesting little historical notes about some of the places along the branch uh, and get on with that. With the intersection of Airport Drive and Norris Road, and you can see where the tracks bow away. Uh, we're looking west right now. They bow away from the uh, where we are now over towards Norris Road. You gotta remember when this was built, neither Airport Drive nor Norris Road were here. And uh, this was a station called Boaz. And, or it was around here somewhere, it's hard to tell. But that bowed out because there were storage tracks here. Uh, I don't know how many, I just know there were. And they were between here and up. If you can look, I don't know if I'll be able to get it up. Yeah, see the train actually parked down there. That's the SJVR. And they store their train down there. But there's only one track here now. And uh, going this way. Uh, straighten back out and d headed down towards the next station which was called Waits. Well just north of North Chester Avenue and Norris Road and uh, according to the, uh, the timetable that I have from the 1903 there were only three stations between Oil Junction and Oil City and uh, one of them was called Waits and it would have been about right here, as far as the, I can tell the milepost. That depot right there was called Seguro, but I don't know if uh, Waits was here first and became Seguro later because Seguro isn't listed on that uh, timetable. So I'm not sure if there's uh, some sort of confusion and perhaps Waits was actually a little further down that way. But uh, Waits was uh, heaviest revenue station on the entire Southern Pacific Railroad in 1907. In October of 1907, they pulled 5,080 cars out of the oil fields onto the main line. And uh, that's a lot for a branch line that's only about five miles long. But anyway, Waits was around here somewhere. Well, here we are a little further out. Uh, this is at a station that was called Malta way back in the day, M-A-L-T-H-A. -A. Uh, we're at the intersection right there of uh, Norris Road and Manor Drive. There's the crossing in Manor Drive. And uh, this was the location of the first major tank farms in uh, Kern River field area. They were over behind those trees that the stuff's all gone. I think up on China Grade you can still see the remnants of some of the levees that for the tanks. Uh, looking east right now, down towards the end of the line. This refinery right here is the Golden Bear Refinery, Trico. Uh, it was originally built by Standard Oil and then to Chevron and sold to uh, Golden Bear by Chevron around 1980. Uh, but Oil City was on out here at the end of the branch. 
Uh, and once they built these tank farms here at Malta, they're out towards the end of the branch, there was a the Redwall Spur went up Sacramento Gulch. Once they built these tank farms down here, they laid pipelines uh, down Sacramento Gulch and in from uh, Oil City to the tank farms here at Malta and sped up the process of getting the oil out of here. They were loading hundreds of cars a week out of here and uh, once they built the tank farms, it really expedited getting that out of here. This is the only reason that this branch line still exists is because of this refinery. As you can see, it's filled with cars. They usually come out here once a day. And uh, the lines have been pulled up from Oil City to about out where the batch plant is for many, 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 many years. But uh, we'll move on down that way and see if we can uh, find anything out there that's interesting. Here we are uh, about a mile down the tracks from uh, Malta. I don't recall what this station was. When I get this video put up, I'll notate in the editing what it was called. But that building up there, you can see inside it there on the old boilers and everything look like they're still there. This was the uh, Monte Cristo Oil Company refinery at one time, way, way back. And uh, in the in the late uh, 70s, 77, I forgot here one day in the oil field just shooting some pictures and I came down here and a guy gave me a little tour of the refinery, which was still operating at the time. Obviously, it's all gone now. But uh, that was pretty cool. But anyway, my reason for being here, there is the Oil City branch right there. This is the last business it serves and just right up there at the, at, the, at the other end of this facility is the end of the rail where it's been pulled up between there and Oil City. Well, we're standing right now. If you can zoom this in along the side of that hill on, behind those expansion loops on the pipe there, you can see where the side of the hill's cut away. That's where the uh, Oil City branch made a turn away from the uh, Beardsley Canal and started heading this way. About right where we're standing here. Went along where, of course, China Grade Loop, which is this road, wasn't here back then. And it went out there, Oil City's out was out that way about maybe a half a mile or so from here. But anyway, the, the old Treadwell branch, it split away from the Oil City Across the road right here and these tracks, the crossing panels and everything were still in here in the late 70s and the early 80s. I don't remember when they, exactly they pulled them up. And right up there is Sacramento Gulch and that's where the, uh, that's where the Treadwell branch went. Went 2.4 miles up there and uh, as I mentioned in the, section, the piece on uh, Malta back there, once they laid these pipelines down there to the tank farms they abandon all this but anyway that's the uh, this is where the Treadwell branch was well we're right about where Oil City would have been back in uh, 1910 when it was going full bore I guess 1907 it was actually the most full bore year but uh, this is about where it had been, uh, probably more, it wasn't a very big place, but probably more over on the other side of where those, that green pumping unit and that black one right there are. Uh, the Beardsley Canal is right there, and we are about eighth of a mile south, I'm south, but west of the head gate of the Beardsley Canal, which runs right behind that levee right there. And uh, according to the maps I've seen, that's about where Oil City was. And the hills in the background and the pictures I have look similar. Uh, <laughs> they've all been chopped off at the tops to put pumping units on over the last hundred years. But uh, this, is where, this is where it was. And uh, we'll leave here, head up to the end of, line, of the line at Ainroth. And that'll be the end of the Oil City. Well, 
This is uh, where the end of the line would have been, the actual end of the line of the Oil City branch. I was under the impression that it ended at Oil City, that that was the terminus, but that was just the last actual railroad facility where there was a depot and agent and things like that. This was called Ainroth, and it was actually the end of the line. Uh, you can't see it. The Kern River is where, I, where all those trees go, just here about 50 yards down there and it curves around that hill so there would have been no rails past here. Uh, Oil City would have been about I don't know half mile three quarters of a mile down that way towards the head gate of the Beardsley Canal and uh, according to the maps I've seen uh, would have been just uh, would have been, been between the head gate of the Beardsley Canal and Gordon's Ferry but uh, it's been fun shooting this uh, obviously the weather's different. It's taken me a few days to shoot this. I've had to do it as, uh, as I could. And, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I know I stutter too much because I'm not used to doing this. But, uh, if there's something else you'd like to see, some, some other historical aspect or just interesting aspect, doesn't that necessarily have to be all that historical, let me know in the comments and, uh, I'll see what I can do about it. Thank you very much. And remember to subscribe and to tell your friends to check it out and subscribe. Thanks. Merry Christmas.